warm up, head up to Mount Hood, where it's in the 40s tonight, or to Santa Ann Pass, which is one of the warmest areas in the state. <laughs> that just shows you how much warm air is over us, yeah. but we're sitting down here in this cold pool of air. And we're going to be stuck there, aren't we? Yeah. That's right, and that cold air is really going to hurt us come tomorrow, because when the rain moves in, uh, that's going to make it more freezing rain and ice accumulation for us. So we've all been dealing with this winter weather for weeks now. We're trying just to get around and battle the roads that are out there that are already icy, but come tomorrow morning expecting a new glaze of ice on top of the roads. It's just going to make for some bad shape conditions by the time we get into tomorrow morning. Here's what we have going on now. We have some clouds moving on in area of low pressure off to the northwest. Warm front to the north of us. Cold front eventually moving through by the time we get into our Tuesday morning. In return, we do have this ice storm warning. So once this system comes in here, it's going to provide us with the moisture, but likely still staying rather cold here at the surface. So ice storm warning will start towards Portland, Battleground, Vancouver, stretching through uh, to Oregon City, Happy Valley. Ice storm warning till 10 p.m. The metro region can see anywhere from about a quarter of an inch in ice. And if you're closer towards the gorge, may be pushing up towards three fourths to an inch of ice. Now we do move eastward. We do have Troutdale, Cascade Locks pushing over towards Hood River. An ice storm warning till six o'clock on Wednesday. So a full day on Tuesday and into Wednesday. We're uh, likely going to see freezing rain and the ice is going to add up. Areas could see over an inch to an inch and a half. So trees, power lines, roads are not going to be doing very well by the time we get through the day uh, tomorrow and Wednesday. Freezing rain advisory for everyone else in this pink shade. That's areas of the coast range stretching down towards McMinnville, Corvallis to Eugene, eastward towards the Cascades and through areas of uh, the Washington Cascades too. Again, ice potential not as bad and not as significant because it will be a little bit warmer or warm up quicker, but still uh, likely to see some ice out there as we do move forward. So here's the big picture. We had that area of low pressure that I just showed you over the coast. It's battling with this high pressure here on the east, and it's going to take a lot to kind of deteriorate and break this down. Until it does, it's going to remain cold through the gorge and into the Portland metro area. So once we could break that down, we bring in the southerly flow, then things will finally start to warm on up. I don't see it happening overnight tonight. That's why I want you all prepared come tomorrow morning. Here's 530. This is when we could start to see that freezing rain developing through here, areas of Portland and westward. That's going to make the roads a little more icy on top of where they already are. If you're along the coast, you're doing okay, and east of that, you're still dry. This is just going to be the first surge. I expect some dry time late morning and into the afternoon, so you're going to think it's over, but it's not going to be over because by the time we get into the afternoon, the heavy moisture moves in. Here's about 415. Temperature's still below freezing. And this is not good for us here through the valley area because that's when the freezing rain is really going to build up. And it might take some time before it eventually does warm on up. This particular model is warming us up by the time we get closer towards midnight to about 40 degrees. I think it's going to take a little bit longer than that. So the next couple of days, heavy rainfall and some freezing rain. That's going to lead to some very uh, dangerous roads tomorrow if you can. I try to stay off the roads and maybe even stay in. So that deep moisture is going to lead to some flooding problems Tuesday through Thursday and into the coast. Drenching rain and flooding. You can find me on social media. You can find all of us here at Coin 6 as we do move forward into tomorrow morning. Sally will have you updated. Again, I think our temperature is going to be pretty cold tomorrow. Uh, right around 34 degrees, eventually warming up. And then we finally see some balmy weather yep. Wednesday and Thursday. But uh, tomorrow, a uh, Big uh, issue is going to be that freezing rain in the morning, mm -hmm. ice on the roads. They're already bad. And, and then we get another band of freezing rain in the afternoon. And in the afternoon, that's where it's really going to hurt us. So there'll be some dry time there. Don't be fooled. By the time we get to the afternoon, I think uh, we'll have some more problems. All right, Joseph, thank you. All right.